All right, I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm so hey, I have to go. I have to go. I love you. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> it's Vlogmas Day 13. <coughs> We are over the halfway point, which is shocking to me. It's just nuts. It's going really quickly. I would say that this year's Vlogmas is going faster than any other Vlogmas I've done. It's awesome. So we are on our way to Target just because I realized today's recipe I'm sharing is my grandmother's fudge recipe and I'm missing two of the ingredients. They're not things I typically keep in my house and that is uh, corn syrup and uh, marshmallow fluff. And I do know that in the baking section at Target in the grocery aisles, they'll have it and Target is closer than any grocery store. So we are going there to get it. I'm not quite sure what else we'll get into today. I have a couple things that I'd like to tackle. Don't know if we'll get to all of them. It's also a Sunday, so we want to keep it easy and breezy. Last night, Stephen and I watched a new movie on HBO Max with Meryl Streep called Let Them Talk. It was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it. It was so well done. The script was well written. The acting was superb. Highly recommended if you have HBO Max. It was great. All right, we will do some more catching up once we finish this Target trip, and I will talk to you all very soon. It is around 11.30. I have done groceries. I've actually been really productive this morning, but I haven't filmed a ton because I was wrapping Christmas gifts for people and people who really watch the channel, and I can't ruin any of them. So yeah, wrapping gifts and I'm really done with my Christmas shopping. Here, I'll show you like two of the like themes. So these are getting shipped to my friend Rebecca in Texas. You guys hear me talk about her all the time. She's the one who made me my cookie advent calendar wreath. These are all of her gifts that I'm sending to her and we're opening on Christmas day. So I have to find a bigger box. I don't know about you, I get so much stuff shipped to this house, but when I need a box, I can never actually find one. I need to do a better job at saving them. So these are all for her. I would say her theme, well, her and I are kind of all over the place in our friendship, but I would say like calm, productive is what I would say this theme is. Then I just finished Danielle's, they are in here. And what I ended up doing, like, this is very classy. Um, they're in this Magnolia basket that I bought her, which is one of the gifts. And then they have recently been doing some remodeling in their house. So I would say hers is like a home inspired theme, which I'm really excited about. And I did it all in the plaid that matches. And then these are Stevens right here. And then this little pile over there was sent to me by a subscriber who actually I've like texted back and forth with because she's just so lovely. Her name is Deborah, and I actually, anything that I get in my PO box, I'm waiting for Christmas morning just to make it special. And yeah, so those are under there waiting. It's so funny because like little kid Christopher, it would be like the running joke that I would like snoop at every gift and like I would ruin surprises. But now as like an adult, like, I could totally wait to open those, and I'm actually looking forward to it, and it'll be a lot of fun. So that's what's happening right now. For dinner, I haven't decided. I have a couple things like in my brain for dinner, either chicken fajitas or stuffed peppers. I'm not sure which one, I'm not sure yet which one I'm gonna go with, but that's what's happening right now. We also have to make a bird feeder today. A lot of you have asked about my fruit bowl that's on my table. This is legit, probably, I'd say it's 25 to 30 pounds. It is a solid marble bowl. It's from Williams Sonoma. It's amazing. It would be an awesome wedding gift. What I love about it is that the bowl isn't very deep, so it's actually kind of shallow and everything just like lays on top, which is nice. All right, so those are all done, which is 
Nice to have those all wrapped and completed. Steven is just getting home from a walk. We've been talking about a little update in our powder room, which will probably be happening in the next week or so. It's like super minor things, like switching out hardware, switching out the faucet to actually make it go a little bit better with the kitchen. Um, yeah, so th that's what we were doing. I also bought a new mirror for in there, which I'm excited about. I don't love the mirror that's in there right now. So we're gonna switch that out. That'll make a huge difference. And yeah, we're just chilling. All right, friends, today's act of kindness is to feed the birds with a homemade bird feeder. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I'm actually using grapefruit halves. Now I'm taking an awl and just poking some holes in this. All right, and now I'm gonna cut four pieces of string and I'm actually gonna go extra long with them just to be safe. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna end up knotting this. And I'm gonna fold it over once before I knot it, just so it's an extra big knot that doesn't go back through that hole. Now that I have all four of my ropes in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take natural organic peanut butter, and this is just gonna help that bird seed stay inside this shell. One, I'm just gonna put like one spoonful in there. We're gonna add this in here. Actually just going to use my hands because that will be just easier. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna bring these up together so that this hangs evenly and then we'll knot it once I get it even. Now I'm gonna add another knot for my hook. But this one is going to go right here. <gasps> Look how perfect that is. Isn't that such a cool idea? And then what's great is it's such a good view to see the birdies. Today we are making my grandma's fudge recipe. Let me tell you what we have going on so far. So in this pan, I have half a cup of oleo, which we just now know is just margarine. We have a quarter cup of light corn syrup. We have two cups of sugar and a half a cup of milk. And right now I'm just letting that all cook. And when it comes to a boil, I'm gonna let it boil for three minutes. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of cocoa, boil for another three minutes, then remove it from the heat add two tablespoons of marshmallow cream, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of peanut butter. We are going to mix that well. Then we are going to pour it into a buttered pan, which I have not buttered yet. So this is what it looks like right now. I don't know if I should still be whisking. I might be doing something wrong. Once this goes for three minutes, I add three tablespoons of cocoa, which I've already prepped, so it's ready to go. I whisk it in and boil for three more minutes. I don't know if I'm doing this right, friends. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay, this was definitely more than two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. A teaspoon of vanilla and then mix well. Okay. This looks as smooth as can be. We're going to pour it into this. But I am going to go ahead. I'm just going to drop some walnuts in there. I will say there is nothing better than listening to that Taylor Swift album in the gramophone. This is one of my favorite things. So they have a Bluetooth version, but I bought the first original one and you just stick your iPhone or iPod. I use my iPod touch in there and it plays through and gives it like that tinny old sound. It's so amazing. Thought we'd go ahead and open some advent calendars. Day 13. Ah, uh, 
We got a little snowman for our village over there. Beekman 1802, day 13. We got fresh air goat milk cream. White Company, day 13. Geranium, juniper, and patchouli body bomb. Pour some sugar on me. Parisian pineapple. All right. Aw, my friend. I cannot wait to send her her gifts. Day 13. I also can't believe she has baked this many cookies. Look at this one. It's a stocking. Girl, five. She actually sent me her royal icing recipe today because we were talking and her and I actually might decorate cookies together via FaceTime um, during Vlogmas after I'm done with work this week. Hi, Z you. Hi, Z you. What? What? Do you think they're yours? Look at that face. Do you think they're yours? What? Who's oh, a good boy? You get some a little bit? You want a little bit? Do a little bit? Do this one little bit? Is it what? What? Do a little bit? What? Do you? Do you? Tell me. Do you want to open yours? Do you want to open yours? Do you? Tell me. Tell me. Do you want to open yours? Tell me. Tell me. Let's go open yours. Come here. Let's find 13 right here. Right here, looky. It's a red one. Looky. Looky. Yay! Steven is out there. I didn't get the one hook in very well, so he said he was going in and fixing it. Let's go out and check on him. Did you get it in better, babe? Yeah, it better. Way better. Aren't those cool? Mm -hmm. He just had one of his cookies. Oh, his, uh, he had opened his advent calendar. Oh, he should check out what's going on over here. He's gonna smell it. That's where it was. That's where I had put it down, actually, right there. He smells the peanut butter. Tallwin used organic. All natural peanut butter for the birds. Not for me. I think they're really cute. Yeah. Just I just hope we, I think we're gonna get more squirrels than birds. No, they're all in for the, they're all in for the, uh, the season. There's a little grass in there. The peanut butter is a good idea because it holds the seed in. I know. I also got to tell you, while Steven was napping, I watched Holiday with Emma Roberts on Netflix. I haven't laughed that much at a movie. I mean, laugh, laugh, tears rolling down my face. I mean, it's your typical like romantic comedy, but I laugh so hard. I highly recommend it. I'm about to make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna enjoy my cookie and then think about dinner because I really haven't thought about it. We are going with a super simple dinner. We're doing spinach and ricotta ravioli and some sauce. It's an easy dinner, isn't it? So easy. So easy. Oh my gosh, why are you so cute? All right, friends, I'm gonna wrap this up now. We're just gonna have dinner quietly, and I wanna make sure the rest of my Sunday is peaceful and quiet as I get ready for the week. I also was editing and noticed that my hair is such a mess because I washed it this morning and then put a hat on, so it's just not a good look. But we're gonna have a really quiet rest of our evening, and I'm gonna relax and get ready for my last week before vacation. I love you all, and I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.